Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Dear Veronica. I'm your host, Veronica Belmont. Now, this is actually the first episode we've recorded since Halloween. Yes, I know, the magic of internet television. Did you have a good one? So now, I really wanted to go as sexy poop emoji, but when I finished the costume, it just looked like crap. Nah, just kidding, it was totally hot and steamy. <laughs> I kill me. <sighs> first question. Long time listener, first time tweeter. What is the best, safest way to clean my getting grody MacBook Air screen? From Daniel Sharon. Grody, huh? So, you know, it's not a touch screen, right? I kid, I kid. Well, Apple is actually pretty clear on the matter, telling you to simply turn off the power and wipe with a damp, with water, lint-free wipe, uh, like this one. Helpfully branded Apple. Now, I've also had success with lens cleaner from my optometrist, but Far and away, one of my favorite products out there, if you're interested in buying something, is the Laptop Pro from LensPen. Ignore the crazy intercapping in the name and just go with it, trust me. It also comes with a brush for your keyboard. You can replace the wipes and it's like 25 bucks. Go crazy, clean all the screens in your home. Clean all the screens in your home. Degrotify. Thanks for your question, Daniel. Up next, we have an awesome question from Mr. Rajat Yoshi on Twitter. In this tech age, how should a novice novelist make an impression and promote his book to grab the attention of a lot of people? Well, first of all, think about how much more promotion opportunity you have now than before the internet was around. It's a whole new world out there. And while I have done that on a much smaller scale with the Sword and Laser anthology, we did have a built-in audience already. So, here to help you navigate these treacherous literary waters is my friend and famed science fiction author, John Scalzi. Hello, Veronica and newbie novelist. Okay, here's the first thing. First thing is write a book that people actually want to read. It doesn't matter how much you promote it or how much attention you try to get for it. If it's not worth reading, people aren't gonna read it and people aren't gonna care. Once you've done that, um, the other thing to do is to stop thinking of the internet as a place to promote, 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 promote. Because quite honestly, if all you do uh, in your social media is promote, 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 people aren't gonna care. They're gonna find you annoying. Instead, think of the internet and social media as a place where you can actually just be, where you can be interesting, where you can say funny things, where you can engage with people and they can engage with you, and that you have a generally a good time. If you do that, then people are going to want to find out about you, and of course they will find out about this great novel that you've written that you hope they will enjoy. If you can do that, if you can keep yourself from just wanting to promote all the time and so be an interesting and engaging person, um, then you will do much better promoting yourself than if all you do is promote, 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 promote. Thanks, John! You can find all of John's books, including some of my favorites like Old Man's War and Red Shirts, over at whatever.scalzi.com. His latest is out now called The End of All Things, and you can also follow him on Twitter at Scalzi. Books are good. We should all read more books. But let's move on to the ear part of our heads for our last question. Dear Veronica, what app for Mac or PC can I use to record all the sounds from my computer, or what app can I use to rip sounds from an MP4 or other type of video file? From at Pseudo Roots. Thanks, Pseudo Roots. Now, I do both of these things quite often, actually. Uh, for getting sound from an application like Skype or Chrome, I use a piece of software for my Mac called Audio Hijack from Rogue Amoeba. It's 50 bucks, but it is so worth it. You can choose what file types you want to record in, schedule recordings, use multiple inputs like mics or a mixer, save session templates, tons of features basically. And it just looks good too, and I like sexy software. Alternately, you can try Wiretap Studio from Ambrosia, which is slightly more expensive at $69. To answer the other part of your question, I use any video converter ultimate to rip audio, but I also use it for other conversion needs. It's nice because it's available for Mac or PC, you can batch convert YouTube videos, and you can, um, you know, remove DRM. You know, for your totally valid personal fair use. It's 50 bucks. Uh, but these are just what I use day to day, and there are other more free-like options out there. Uh, you can check out alternative2.net to find comparable products on the OS of your choosing. Now that you have your answer, pseudo make me a sandwich. That's all for this week, friends. As always, send me those questions using the hashtag Dear Veronica. It can be about anything, science, tech, creepy costume ideas for next year. It's all good. I'll see you next week. That's all for this week's friends. <laughs> Three, two.